If you're a creative small business owner, you know firsthand how important it is to be able to send contracts quickly and get paid efficiently, while at the same time looking professional and polished to your clients. You also know firsthand how difficult that can be if you're trying to cobble together a paper system or using some kind of online doc or something like that. So today we're sharing our favorite client relationship management software that'll help you guys get contracts signed earlier, payments paid earlier, all while making you look amazingly polished in the process. This is Bite Size Business, where we're helping entrepreneurs become the hero of their own creative small business. I'm your host, Abby Grace, and this is my husband, Matt, also my business manager. I'm an international photographer who also loves educating for creative small business owners. So here on Bite Size Business, we do a lot of strategy for creative small business owners, as well as tips and tricks for the growing photographer. So if that sounds like your brand of strawberry jam, make sure you guys hit subscribe. Client relationship software is a game changer. It's also shorthand called CRM, client relationship management. So prior to using CRM, what I was doing was printing out paper contracts, sending them to my client, asking my client to sign them and send them back along with a paper check. As you can imagine, more than one of these got lost in the mail and sometimes between the time that it took me to get the contract over to the client and get them to send the contract and the payment back, they decided to go with someone else, which obviously was not great for my business and didn't look super polished or professional on my end. So how long ago did we switch to CRM? Five years ago? Five or, yeah, five or something six. like five years ago. And it was a game changer because what it allowed me to do was send a contract and an invoice and get paid like mm, hours, sometimes a few minutes later. So HoneyBook came on the scene a couple of years ago and we absolutely love them because what we found is HoneyBook is the best option for uh, remaining seamless with what our clients are expecting from us in terms of on be just being on brand, being a really usable experience, being pretty from the client's perspective. Mm -hmm. And so today we wanted to take you through what HoneyBook looks like, not just from our end of things, but from the client's end of things, because that was huge for me. And the other CRMs that I used, I was finding it difficult to get to get eyes on what it looked like from the client's perspective. I knew what it looked like from the back end, but I didn't know what my clients were experiencing. And I found it complicated to try and you know like set up a fake account and see what it might look like from the client's end. So. Today, Matt's gonna be taking you through what it looks like to set up a new client project within HoneyBook. So we're gonna show you how to create a new contract and then uh, create an invoice that's attached to that contract. And the reason Matt's gonna take you through that is because? Uh, it's because I handle all of that. It's, it's my job description is making sure that we get the contract sent on time, make sure you're, making sure that everything is correct and just getting it out to the customer. So we're gonna take you guys over to a screen share where Matt's gonna first show you again what it looks like from our side of things and then keep watching after that because you'll get a look into what it looks like when your client receives the contract and the invoice and takes a look and goes through and books on their end. So let's take a look. Just a quick heads up, we are including an affiliate link in the show notes below, which if you choose to use it, will result in a small commission for us to continue creating awesome content just like you see on our YouTube channel. You guys know I only share products and companies that I believe in and trust, so know that I will always send you to sources that I count on as reliable. Take it away, Matt. All right, so here is your dashboard as you log into HoneyBook. You can get a snapshot of your projects, your calendar, tasks, bookkeeping, and reports. So we'll go ahead and create a new project by coming up here up to new. So we'll hover over this and then we'll select new project. Let's bring up this screen so we can put up our project title. It's April and Andy wedding. We'll just select the project type. So there's a bunch of them here already pre-populated or you can go into your company settings and select another one. Type in the venue. And then we'll go ahead and put a start date in here. You can also leave it TBD if you want to, but we'll go ahead and select a start date. Uh, you can put a time if you want, if you already know it, when it starts, um, or you can just leave it blank. It's not a required field. Um, you can also put an end date, but this isn't required either. Put some additional details in here, like an estimated budget, number of guests, time zone, and lead source. So if you want to keep track, if it came from Facebook, your website, Google, you can put that information here. So we'll hit next. And this creates the project and brings up the screen so that we add the first participant. So we'll go ahead and put the bride in here, putting in her email address. And as you can see, her, her name and phone number are already in here. That means she's actually been put into the system already by somebody else. Um, but we'll go ahead and add her to the project now. Um, next thing we need to do is we'll go ahead and add another participant, whether this is 
uh, the groom or the planner or anybody else that needs to be added here. So we'll go ahead and add the groom. So you see the name didn't populate, so we'll go ahead and put the name in here along with a phone number and mailing address. add. Okay, now that we've added the groom here, we can go ahead and create the proposal. So we'll come up to new file, proposal, and then you can choose either from a blank proposal or you can choose from one of the pre-populated templates or any templates that you create in the tools section. So we'll go ahead and create the, the gold template here. And now we're in here, you can see that the package has been pre-populated. Uh, so it's got everything included in there already. And we'll go ahead and select tax and so that adds tax onto it automatically. Um, you can add a discount here and this will automatically change the grand total for you down there. Um, so now the payment plan, so you, you can keep it at the midway or you can actually change it based on however you want to do it. We'll, so we'll do a custom and we'll go ahead and put it as one week after the invoice has been sent. And then here we'll go ahead and keep this as one month before the project date. So we're going to come down here to the agreement. You can see that there are some highlighted fields that need to be filled. It's great that HoneyBook does this so that you know what you need to do before you can send the contract. So we'll go ahead and add those fields for it, everything. Just makes it really easy to see. They got the tabs right there so you can see it on the, the contract as well. So let's go ahead and add this. And you can see at the top, it's already going down to one highlighted field left. I'll scroll down and you can see there's only two signatures. So we'll go ahead and add the signature of the groom. Um, that way you have everybody that you need to add. So we'll go ahead and hit finish editing. So that way we can send the email. And there's already a template pre-populated here. Uh, there's a bunch of other templates and we've already created our own. So we'll go ahead and put that in here so we can address the bride and groom with our own wording. I'll go ahead and change the subject line. So you can edit this if you want to. And you can also recommend vendors. And then you can also preview, which I think is great. So this way you know exactly what it's gonna look like for your client when they see it. back here so now we got everything we can go ahead or we can actually add a participant here if let's say we forgot to add the mother of the bride we can go ahead and add her here and then just hit send and it's going sent off to our bride and groom and there we are now you can see and look here in the project for everything see all of our contact between each other is kept right here um, so it's very convenient to keep everything in one place so here's what everything looks like on the client's end. So in the client's email address, you get the email from us, from HoneyBook. So you can see it's got our logo here, it's got our message here, and then it's got a button here at the bottom. So you can hit view proposal. And right here, you can review the, the proposal here. You got everything, you can see the payment plan, then we come up here, we can go to continue to contract. Um, so it tells the client that ha they have one highlighted field. You can click on this and it'll take you directly to the field that needs to be updated. So we need to put in the address. All right, and scroll through like we're reading the contract. And then click the sign, accept. So they can also draw their signature if they want to as well. And then we click continue to pay. And this is where they type in their payment address or their payment information. You can also pay with a bank transfer instead of a credit card. And then you can also set up auto pay. I hope that was helpful for you guys. If you have any questions about HoneyBook, put them in the comment section below and I'd be happy to answer them for you.
Like we said, HoneyBook was a game changer for us and we think it might be for you too. So we are so excited because HoneyBook's offering 50% off your first year. Just make sure you guys sign up using the link below because trust me, you're gonna fall in love. As always, as every YouTuber ever says, if you like this episode, make sure you give it a thumbs up and then definitely hit subscribe because there is so much more goodness where that came from. We'll catch you guys next time on Bite Size Business.